now that I have the Robin brand, I would say hand on heart, you know, my days, my life is much more interesting and fulfilling because I'm doing something that I really love. I knew from the minute that I started training that I was going to love it. I'm quite a creative person and I've never really been able to fulfill that in a job that I'm doing. I love the fact that it's mine. It's it's individual to me. The brand was born from something I feel really passionate about. And I also love the fact that yeah, I make people happy with the products that I create. And you sense that when you get a loyal customer base, people keep coming back and repurchasing your products and they'll email you and tell you how much they love them. And it's satisfying. I feel that when I was in my previous career, I didn't get that sense of satisfaction because I was always working for somebody else and I would often have ideas about how I could improve things and you can't often voice those opinions when you're working for somebody else. I find that being able to manage my own time because I work for myself is preferable to me and yeah it's much better than (laughs) my my previous life. (laughs) My name is Eleanor Robin Olsen. And I'm the founder and CEO of Robin Skincare. I'm based here in London in the UK. And I launched the brand in late 2021. The reason I started Robin Skincare was actually quite a few reasons. But I would say the pivotal reason is because in late 2018, I was suddenly diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. And that was obviously a huge shock. That was the turning point for me to actually... Uh, that's how I got into skin and skin health. So after actually having a, a, some surgery and ensuring that I was okay health-wise, which touch wood, I was very lucky. I actually set about finding the right course to learn how to be a formulator. So it took me a couple of months to, to research the best college and the best way to go about retraining. And that's when I found Formula Botanica. And then I started studying with them in 2019. I made the decision to enroll with Formula Britannica because I really wanted to be trusted in the industry that I was entering. So this was a completely new field for me. I touched on biochemistry, I touched on nutrition, but I hadn't formulated before. And I may have played with a few things in a very amateur type way, but I'd never put together a proper formula. I think when you're when you want to be trusted in any industry, especially when you're talking about products that you put onto your skin. I think you really do need to know what you're doing and you need to be trusted. So Formula Botanica sprang out to me as being, as knowing what they were doing. And I did research it extensively and did a short list of colleges that I could potentially study with. But Formula Botanica topped the list. I started studying on the Diploma in Organic Skincare Formulation. It was a fantastic course. The, the setup and the structure of the course for an online platform was phenomenal and the tutor support was amazing. The community was also really good as well because you had the online classroom where all the other students would get together and ask questions and give each other advice as well and also massive amounts of encouragement which sometimes you do need because when you are formulating it's a, there's a lot of trial and error. You do something and you get very excited about it, you homogenize it and it fails and <laughs> having that online support from the community of students was really helpful. So the ethos behind the Robin brand is really about creating totally natural skincare products, but they're also incredibly effective. So I think historically, we've been led to believe that if you have a totally natural skincare product, it might smell lovely, the texture might be amazing, but it doesn't necessarily do anything. And On the flip side, you've got synthetic beauty products, which might be clinically proven, but perhaps they have, say, controversial ingredients in them. So I was sick of looking at skincare brands and thinking, oh, this looks lovely and it it will work and it will wipe away wrinkles or it will plump my face, etc. But when I looked at the inky list on the back, especially after knowing what I know about beauty products now, I would always be quite shocked at the ingredients that would go into these products. So I set about creating a sort of a completely natural, and when I say truly natural, even including the preservatives and the emulsifiers, a completely natural brand that that actually is is very effective and you get results with it. So the way we go about that is almost by splitting formulas in half. And we have the first layer, which is always a sort of key clinically proven plant-based active. 
So it completely removes any guesswork in terms of performance. And then the second layer is just a plethora of amazing antioxidant rich, essential fatty acid rich, amino acid rich botanicals and botanical ingredients. So that might be oils, it could be hydrosol, it could be extracts. And by combining the two formulas, you get beautifully natural products that are actually incredibly effective at the same time. I love having my own brand because I am incredibly creative and I get to be creative every single day. I've got children, so for many years I was looking for something much more flexible. Doing a nine to five, or should I say nowadays it's more like a six to nine, was hard going with children. And I was a single mum at the time. Having that flexibility, getting to play with amazing ingredients most days, speaking to different people most days. No, no two days are actually the same when you're running a business. Some days I might be formulating, some days I might be sorting packaging, other days I might be networking. And the flexibility as well, especially if you have children, it's one of the things I found in my previous career. I was working very long hours, I was commuting all the time. I was always worried about what my children were doing, what they were up to, who was looking after them, and to have the flexibility to be able to work in effect from home, set my own hours. And I meet so many interesting people as well. There are so many different parts of the beauty industry and so many different brands that it's actually, it's a very exciting space to work in. An average day running Robin is pretty multifaceted. So for instance, yesterday I was packing up mini deluxe vials ready to send off. I may have also been in the afternoon formulating. I spent hours sometimes researching and sorting ingredients from all over the world. I have a fridge upstairs, a double American fridge, which is absolutely packed to the rafters of active ingredients waiting for me to play with them. Or it could be doing spreadsheets. Obviously, you have the slightly more boring side of running a business, which is essential, but it's very varied. And I love the fact that I'm in, in charge of what I do on a daily basis. Great. So the products that we create actually do attract quite a wide audience. They are unisex. They have two aspects to the products, the formulas, so they're not just restorative. They are aimed at optimizing skin health. So they're not just designed to wipe away wrinkles, albeit they will when you get to a certain age. They will reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. But they're also designed to support things like your skin barrier. So in terms of age group, really anyone who's starting to look after their skin or seriously starting to look after their skin, so maybe mid-20s, can use the product to maintain and optimize skin health, maintain hydration, clarify pores, because we have a number of different products in the range. So some of them, it's, some of it's cleansing, some of it's a serum, a cream, et cetera. And then as you get older, so as you get into your sort of late 30s and mid-40s, People start to use the product from more of a restorative perspective because they stimulate collagen. And obviously, that's what we all need when we start, when the years start adding up. So it's quite broad, which is great. It appeals to quite a few different people. One of our best selling products is the Limitless Facial Oil, which I have here. So the Limitless Facial Oil is a, it's an anti aging and skin health optimizing formula. So the key three ingredients are Cytonol A Bacuchiol, which is nature's alternative to retinol and is clinically proven. And the other key ingredients are organic prickly pear seed oil. And I can never even pronounce it, Donaliella salina extract, which is a very resilient microalgae. If you're going to go for it and start your own brand, I'd wholeheartedly encourage you to absolutely go for it, but also to be prepared. So it's very consuming, but it's absolutely worth it. If you're passionate about it, you're sure that you want to invest a good chunk of your life in setting the brand up because these things don't happen overnight, then absolutely go for it. Research as much as you possibly can. So in terms of brand positioning, you need to really assess the market and you need to think what isn't out there? How can I provide something? Or is there a problem that needs to be solved and how do I do that? Because your products do need to really stand out above and beyond everybody else.